All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kapadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and bless to the hopeful elect. This is Brother Tazawa from GMS Atlanta. Back with another video. Uh, update to the MOTB and uh, the continued articles dealing with the implantable device under the skin, which is a fulfillment, is, is, the, is the fulfillment of the Karagma, the MARK, the prophecy written in Revelation the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. And uh, this article I have here is from GearRice.com. And this is from uh, earlier this summer, okay, June 9th, which reads, Soon everyone will be equipped with C-hips under their skin to pay, open their car, etc. And you can see here, not paying with a smartwatch, not paying with a smartphone, Okay, but paying with their hand, all right, or their wrist here. So it says, imagine that you no longer need keys, bank cards, badges, or vital cards. That all this information is stored in an ele electronic C hip and planted under your skin. This is what the technology of the subcutaneous C hip offers, which has existed for more than 10 years. And still, and, and what still arouses as much fascination as concern. All right? It's, it exists. All right? The technology is out there. For all the uh, Israelite naysayers out there. So it says the subcutaneous C here. Now that's a key word. Matter of fact, let me see something here. Look up subcutaneous. Subcutaneous. Uh, it says subcutaneous administration is the insertion of medications beneath the skin, either by injection or infusion. A subcutaneous infection is administered as a bolus into the subcutis, the layer of skin directly be below the dermis and epidermis, collectively referred to as the cutis. The instruments are usually a hypodermic needle and a syringe. Subcutaneous injections are highly effective in administering medications such as insulin, morphine, diacetylmorphine, and gosarelin. Right? So, you know, pretty much like when you go to the doctor and you get a shot. Okay? But the key, key thing here is that it's uh it's it's used to cut under the skin all right because the word sub means under and cut means to cut all right um you see here subcutaneous all right subcutaneous situated or applied under the skin subcutaneous fat let's go back here let's go to the definition Subcutaneous. I'm trying to see if I can see the etymology here. All right, another good word. In intradermal. Okay. In okay, now here it is. Right. Alright, so etymology of subcutaneous from Latin sub and cutis skin. Okay. More at hide under entry two. Hide the skin. Okay, so yeah, hide is is skin cutis. Okay, so subcutis. I said cut means a cut, but it actually means under skin. Sub and cutis means under the skin. Okay.
And now, what's another word I want to get? Was it in, intradermis? That's a good word, man. Gotta look up these words. Gotta look up these words. Okay, gotta look these words up. Intradermal. Here we go. Intradermal. Intradermal injection is a shallow or sub superficial injection of a substance into the the dermis which is located between the epidermis and the hypodermis. For certain substances, administration via an ID route, intradermal route, can result in a faster systemic uptake compared with subcutaneous injections, leading to a stronger immune response to the jab, immunology, and novel cancer treatments and faster drug uptake. Intradermal, administered by entering the skin. Situated, occurring, or done within or between the layers of skin. See, this, this MOTB is going to be something physical. Okay? It's going to be a physical thing, not, not a... Uh, a uh, Spiritual, you know, worshiping of idols, you know, committing sin, like the IUIC says, no, it's going to be something physical. Because everything that has to do with getting these devices have to do with going into your skin, going into your body. Okay? All right, so let's go back. Let's see the article here. Let's go back. All right, okay, here we go. <clears throat> so let's see what it says. It says... Uh, their subcutaneous C-hip can have practical applications such as replacing keys, cars, or badges, but also risks such as hacking, tracking, or breach of privacy. It is not yet very widespread in France where it gives rise to debates on its acceptability and its regulation. Right, now France is a part of the beast, which proves that the prophecy of the MOTB has not fully came into play the technology is here, all right. The the, the MARK, the the C hip, the device itself, that exists. That's here, but the prophecy will be fully fulfilled when it's mandated across Europe, these NATO countries such as France, the UK, and America, all right. And it, and it's, of course, it's going to be all around the world as well. Um, now, if you don't know, you should know what it is. Okay, what is a micro C hip? Um, so it says the subcutaneous C-HIP can contain a memory that stores digital data such as a 15-digit code that identifies the wearer. That's your, 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 um, that's your number of a man, all right? 603 score and six. It says it can also be linked to a secure database on the internet which contains more detailed information about the bearer, such as name, data, uh, I'm sorry, such as name, date of birth, medical file, bank details, etc. Yeah, so it can contain all this information, man. Okay, all this information can be, be used and applied to see it. And then look at how small they can make these things, man, in this uh, GIF image here. You know, or this one guy has a magnet, 
He can open his computer. He can attract actual mag magnets. Um, you got different companies. Now listen to this, right? And this is how you know that the um, the C hip that that you buy and sell with in, in your hand ties in with the C hip that goes in your forehead. So it says among well uh, other well known brands, Dangerous Things has been implanting subcutaneous C hips since two thousand five. Specializing in biohacking, it offers two types of implants, RFID for identity and access control applications and implant sensors for magnetic field and, and magnetic interaction sensing applications. Okay, like the image here. All right. It says, for its part, the company Walletmore offers for 249 I believe this is euro, to implant you So the, over there in, in uh, the Eurozone. To implant you an RFID in order to pay without con order to pay without contact. What buy and sell with your hands? The Vivo Key Company goes a little further by also offering the unlocking of Tesla's data sharing via NFC, which is what they use in the in uh, uh, the Eurozone, the EU. Same thing as RFID, pretty much. Different name, or the configuration of a one-time password using any smartphone. It is also impossible not to mention Neuralink, Elon Musk's company, which has been working on an implant in one for years. The latter would be the size of a coin and would place, be placed in a uh, place of one end of the skull cap, a brain machine interface that requires a surgical intervention of about a quarter of an hour, which would be uh, 15 minutes. And that Elon Musk presents as a connected watch that replaces a piece of skull. So it's here, man. This technology is here, okay? Uh, what is this here? I don't know. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, these ads popping up. But anyway, you know, you get the gist of it. And this is a source from France. So this is what they're talking about overseas. It says, the other concern is about tracing. In other words, the possibility of following the movements, activities, or habits of the wearer without their consent or knowledge. Well, they already do that with your phone. They're going to do that with this too, okay? AI, battery of the future. So here's where AI comes in. Health, it's where health comes in, etc. Apple, that's where Apple comes in, has a secret laboratory to change the world. Finally, important privacy issues arise. Indeed, the subcutaneous C-HIP can be used to collect, store, or transmit the wearer's personal information. Do that with the smartphone now. Without his agreement or his control. Because they give out what's known as a passive signal. Okay? Uh, it can also be used to discriminate, stigmatize, or exclude the wearer. So, hey, if, if, if you don't... And that's how you know that this when they push this, this device, it's going to be about classes. You know, if you're a billionaire, billionaire, your, your, your uh, um, C-HIP can give you access t to this level of society. But if you're... Poor, a society just already moving towards just being a rich and poor society, there will be no middle class, then you won't have access to higher uh, amenities, so to speak, you know? So it can exclude you as well. It says uh, it can also be used to discriminate, stigmatize, or exclude the wearer depending on their characteristics or preferences. What do you think of this technology, and are you ready to use it? Now, that word stigmatize goes back to the Greek word stigma, right? Uh, social stigma. Yeah, to condemn. Let's see if it gives us a root here. Archaic, right? Archaic 
brand. It says here to mark with stigmata. That's in the scriptures as well. To brand. Right? A mark made by burning with the hot iron to attest manufacturer quality or to designate ownership. A mark put on criminals with the hot iron. So that's what they are essentially going to do. But this would be the new um, modern day brand is going to be this uh, Karagma. Okay. All right. So there you go. It's telling you about it. It's telling you about it. So let's go. Now I mentioned criminals. So this is what I want to get about these these criminals. Okay. Uh, now this is here. Now this is from June 11, 2023. It says this surveillance system tracks inmates down to their heart rate. Uh, documents wired obtained. And it's from wired.com. Documents wired obtained detail new prison monitoring technology that keeps tabs on inmates' location, heartbeats, and more. So the technology is here. All they got to do is just put that same technology in that implantable device. And wherever you go, they know where you, you know, you're going. So now this is dealing with uh, down here in Atlanta. It says the conditions inside the Fulton County jail system are dire. Inmates at one of the jails in Atlanta, Georgia, are sleeping on the floor in plastic trays. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, they call them boats. You know, for those of you that, you know, been behind them, dark, them bars before, you know, in a past life, <laughs> right? With the, you know, them boats, man. And, and, you know, that happens when there's, you know, a high population in a particular part of dorm, you know? Anyway, it says cell doors hang off hinges. Footage from one local news report shows and leaked water pools on the floor in some areas. And last September, one person was found dead and covered in bed bugs. Yeah, it was a Jake. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so a Jake was, and Jake was found dead in the uh, in a jail cell. Anyway, let me um get here. So now it says the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, which runs multiple jails around Atlanta and has been granted more funding to fix the problems, is also in the process of rolling out a new surveillance system that can track inmates to precise levels. Across the region's jails, hundreds of sensors are being embedded into the walls using radio frequencies, RFID, right? These communicate with wristbands. So now it's wristbands. Then it's going to be implantable devices issued to inmates. The system, which was created by Georgia-based firm Talatrix, can track an inmate's heartbeat, determine their location every 30 seconds, and create 3D images showing who comes into contact with whom. Documents wired obtained through a public record request include a legal agreement, statements of work, and internal PowerPoint presentations describe how the monitoring system operates and provides a glimpse into its inner workings. Uh, let me read this here. And, hey, the prophecy says in Revelation 13, it says that, all, uh, uh, and he causes all, both small and great, free and poor, rich and, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> and, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, criminals, inmates, to receive the karagma. Okay. So this technology in the system is already being set up, man, in different applications all over Babylon the Great, all over America, even here in the ATL, okay? It says the Fulton County Sheriff's Office in Talatrix claimed the system can help make understaffed jails more efficient and increase overall safety, while monitoring heart rates can alert staff to an inmate's potential health, pro health problems or suicide attempts. Critics, meanwhile, say monitoring technologies subject inmates to more surveillance and fail to address deeper issues with the criminal justice system. 
the Talatrix system is one of a number of electronic monitoring devices being deployed in the sprawling web of local jails in the United States. So it's happening all over. And it may be one of the most sophisticated. Some appear to focus on suicide risk, while others have used RFID C-hips that are manually scanned. As jails and prisons face staffing shortages, they've increasingly turned to automation to monitor and control people caught up in the system. You know, that's Jake, so-called black spending Native Americans, Israelites. At the same time, academic researchers have said inmates are one of the best surveilled, datafied, and documented populations with, without a choice to opt out. But they're going to make this technology mandatory to free and bond. Right? Now, let's see what this RFID manually scan. You see what they're talking about here. Okay, so this is from September 16, 2022, out of California. And I'll just read this top headline here. It says, California inmates to wear non-removable electronic bracelets in county jails. Inmates will soon be required to wear an electronic wristband that tracks their movements within jail systems. That's all I need to read there, man. You know? So you're telling me that this isn't a... um, uh, 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 Fulfillment of the Karagma? Are not these people in bondage in prison? On Tuesday, the Board of Supervisors unanimously voted to enter into a $1.6 million contract with Guardian RFID, a company that specializes in technology for jails and prisons out of Santa Clara County, California. Silicon Valley, San Jose, California. What more do I need to say? Okay. Now let's go to Asia. And this is from biometricupdate.com. This is from September 7, 2023. Could you also, I'm sorry, the article, first article I read, you know, mentioned about that 15 digit number. Um, all these technologies are using, you know, are utilizing these numbers. So it says Japan to trial my number digital ID for entertainment tickets amid growing controversy. The government agency responsible for issuing the my number digital ID card in Japan has announced a pilot to test the effectiveness of the credential for buyer authentication in the entertainment ticketing industry. The announcement comes at a time when the government has been struggling to deal with growing discontent. See, the government is stepping in. It's doing more than just enforcing and regulating and making laws. It's now getting into pretty much every pocket of society, okay? And that's overseas in these foreign countries and domestically over here in the U.S., man, okay? It says the announcement comes at a time when the government has been struggling to deal with growing discontent over its plan to expand the use of the My Number ID for different government services, including medical insurance. According to the ticketing business, the objective of the trial, which has been slated for later this month, so this is currently ongoing because it started in September, now it's October, Right, it says it's to determine if the car will streamline and improve digital ID verification and authentication in the entertainment industry, one of the most booming sectors of Japan's economy. The results of the test will tell if, bus- if businesses can fully embrace the car for identification checks, the ID agency says. And that's all I'm gonna read on here. So, you know, it's 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 becoming more and more clear what the uh, the MOTB is. Uh, you know, I've read you know several articles. You know, dealing with you know different different applications of the technology, the Karagma itself, the implantable device itself, and how they're tying it to 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 people free that's able to go to entertainment. Like here in Japan, you know, they want to use this ID card, but then in prison. They're actually giving these inmates, you know, uh, RFID wristbands, you know, to track them. So let me get the prophecy in in the scripture, you know, so it'll be clear what, 
what uh what these articles are getting at, you know. Revelation thirteen. And I read 16 and 17. It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Right? Small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, inmates, right? To receive M A R K, the karagma, when you look it up in the Greek, in their right hand or in their foreheads. You can buy and sell, or, or you can get the neural link. Okay? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number, right? The ID number, the, uh, the vibration that Esau goes under, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Next chapter. Okay. This is the doom. For the worshipers, okay? Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his M-A-R-K, the karagma, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, okay? Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's Yahweh Shai. Verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. So, so they're going to be destroyed by the nuclear missiles and be caught up in that nuclear fire when America's destroyed. Okay? Especially those <clears throat> that are... Um, took this uh, karagma because you're going to have people you know Edomites out there that believe in the M-A-R-K the, the, the karagma but they're not going to be saved because they're Edomites you know but they're going to have to be destroyed too alright it says and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever which means for a, a long period of time and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the karagma, right, of his name. All right? Now, the the inmates that are getting the wristbands, you know, let me say this disclaimer. The wristbands are not the karagma. That's not the M-A-R-K. But their system that they're using, the tracking system, ties in directly with the karagma. Because that's um, what the karagma is going to... Uh, um, be built upon these different surveillance systems you know just like when i read the first article it mentioned about being able to track without consent anyway because that's what the rfid technology can do they do it with dogs and cats i've done videos on them putting the the karagma the device in dogs and cats so how much more human beings okay you know the id card that they were um going to issue out in Japan that I read in the article, that's not the karagma, but, you know, having access and ID verification, you know, with that technology ties, again, into the implantable device. Different companies, Neuralink, Dangerous Things, VivoKey, all these companies that have this technology, that is going to introduce the karagma to the world, okay? Um, Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And this is why we tell you to uh, don't believe these other Israelite groups that tell you the MOTB is not an implantable device. Okay? GMS got it right. And if you take it, just like it says in Revelation 14 chapter, according to the Bible, not according to GMS, not according to the apostles and, the, the, you know, the different elders and brothers. No, but according to the word of God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you will be destroyed if you take this device. You know? Thus saith the Lord. So with that, call out Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekha Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. 
Peace and blessings to the 144,000, the hopeful elect. Shalom.